Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today's video we're going to get right into is on how the prices of a lot of things for survival that you may want to get and put up, how the prices are just going through the roof. If nobody's out there been really paying attention or you've even tried to purchase any of these products. <music> Now, we're just going to do a couple basic ones. I don't want to do a huge, long 30-minute video on all the different types of products and everything else, from batteries and everything else. All the prices are going up, and they're going up fast. First thing we're going to talk about is this butter you see right here. Okay? Now, this butter will last for 15 years. It's sealed. It's in a can. Uh, creamy butter. It comes from Australia. Now, this was a, a hot seller there on Amazon for the longest time. Now, back on December 26th, the day after Christmas last year, I took and I purchased 12 cans of these, a half a case. And at that point, and that was in 2019, before Charlie Victor hit, you could get 12 cans, okay, 12 of these. The 12 ounce cans for $69, which was a really good price, especially now if you look at how much they're really charging you now. For the longest time after Charlie Victor 19 hit, you couldn't buy any of these. They were gone. They were completely sold out. No matter if you wanted to buy a case, half case, two cans, six cans, it didn't matter. They don't have the half a case anymore. They don't sell it that way. So you can't buy 12 cans. You can buy a case, but you better have some money in your checkbook. So six cans of these right now on Amazon where I bought mine. All right. They're going to get you for $79.95 for six cans. Now look at that increase in price. I mean, that is just like phenomenal. All right. Now this would be considered survival, right? So what is going on? Are they trying to make it to where very few many people are gonna be able to buy things to survive on their own for long term? Is that something that they're looking at? Two cans, take, take that one away. Two cans, you can buy two cans on Amazon right now, go on your computer, you can get two cans for $24.89 for two 12 ounce cans of butter because it is considered a long-term food storage because it will last for 15 years. What is going on? If anybody has been paying attention to the prices and stuff, I watch the prices and everything else, and I see how everything has gone up. You know, batteries is another big one. You used to be able to, um, you could buy all kinds of batteries. You know, I don't buy the cheap, in the, you know, dollar store batteries. I mean, if you have to buy those, th those are good. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long those things will last. But if you buy good batteries, Energizers, Duracells, and those type of batteries, the prices of those things have gone skyrocketing and I've been buying a few and trying to uh, store them because I store them basically really for hurricanes for all the different battery operated things that I do have in case of I lose power for a very long time. I do have generators and battery backups and battery banks and everything else but you know you do have some of the older things that run on batteries. So let's move on to seeds, okay? To give you an example, this seed vault right here, I bought this seed vault in March of 2020, right after Charlie Victor 19, it was really starting to come into America and everything else, and I saw the writing on the wall. I did a video back, I believe it was in February of March of 
this year and I basically said, you know, this thing's coming. You, you people have to start stocking up and get ahead of the game before SHTF hits the fan and which it did and there was nothing left in the stores. But what I did was is I took the money and I bought myself a seed vault. All right. Now this seed vault, when I bought this, was regular price, wasn't on sale or anything else on Amazon for $89.95. Okay. This same exact seed vault today on Amazon is going to cost you $129.99. That's huge, people. That's huge. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Right there. And the prices keep going up. It seems like every month they keep going up. Now, this little container here, I purchased this on December 20th of... 2019 okay before we even really knew at that point that we were going to get uh mr charlie victor 19 knocking on our door and this one here i paid 25.95 for all right for the heirloom seeds all right there's all kinds of stuff in here there's beets and uh, beans and carrots and corn, eggplant, lettuce. They're all heirloom, non-GMO, everything else. <clears throat> What's it say at the bottom? 55 different varieties of uh, vegetables. Okay? I pay $25.95. Today, right now, on Amazon, it's $50. bucks. 49 95 Just doesn't make sense. But what makes sense is, is this all part of the plan? Are they going to try to make it to where they don't want people to have long-term food storage? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But what I am telling you is, because I have had people ask me about this butter, because I've talked about it in a few of my videos, and they wanted to know where I got it at, and I've told them Amazon, and for the longest time, it wasn't available. Now it's come back available again, and the prices have just skyrocketed. Now, I know maybe some of the, the prices with this, because it comes from Australia, maybe with all the fires and everything that they had over there, maybe that is part of the increase in price. But I think it's all on the demand for the product, and maybe the company is saying, hey, you know, people want this, they're going to pay whatever to get it. And they just jack the prices up. I don't know. I'm so glad that I bought mine and I got 12 cans for $69 compared to six cans for $79.95. Now, <clears throat> back in December, um, I had gone into Lowe's right around Christmas time, just before Christmas. And they did have a lot of their seeds. Okay. This is all before Charlie Victor 19. So, you know, I just was like, you know what? I'm going to grab some just to have some, just in case something happens. You know, that's when it was all first starting overseas and everything else. And you, you know how you get that gut feeling? Well, you know how you're told, you know, when you get that gut feeling, you run with it. Well, that's what I did. So I was able to pick up <clears throat> because then they were only a buck 58, you know. So I've got, you know, two different types of squash. I picked up some beans, carrots, radishes, um, two different types of lettuce, uh, regular beans, like, you know, your, your green beans, <clears throat> peppers, and tomatoes. So they didn't have a lot left because I think everybody else was kind of like doing the same thing. You know, it was the end of the season. It was the last little uh, stand that they had there that had a few seeds and stuff left in it. So I grabbed, you know, a few of these and they're all $1.58 except for the peppers and those are $1.99.
Now, Lord only knows what they're charging for you. I haven't been in this you know, Home Depot or Lowe's in ages, so I don't know, but I have heard that the prices even in there, are, they've gone, you know, skyrocketing. Now, I do know that <clears throat> come uh, spring and stuff, you know, some of your places like uh, uh, your dollar stores and places like that, they, they'll start getting some seeds and stuff in. You just want to make sure that if you're buying seeds, you want to try to make sure that you're buying heirloom seeds, non-GMO, and all that. This way here, you know they're pretty good seeds. You don't know what's in some of those other seeds. All right. Now, I did go on the website, and I did a little research for you all. And I've got a few web pages, and I'm going to post these in the description below, so you all can go in and click and, and check them out for yourself. Uh, Burpee was one, burpee.com. They're, they're a really good site. Um, I've been buying seeds from Burpees for years. There's another one that I found, and I thought they looked uh, pretty good. A lot of their seeds are available, and the prices weren't really too bad. Uh, it's called trueleafmarket.com. Another one is anniesheirloomseeds.com. That was another good site. Uh, they did have, a lot of their seeds were available, but they did have a lot of seeds that weren't available. So, you know, I think it's all on demand of different types of seeds and different vegetables and, and that type of stuff. Uh, LegacyFoodStorage.com, they do have a nice variety of long-term like a vault type deal. They range in all different prices from $40 to $50 all the way up. They do get expensive, but they do guarantee them for uh, between 15 and 25 years. And the last one is the obvious is Amazon.com. You can go on there and try to find some of these here products and everything else. You just have to make sure and look and see who you're buying them from and do your research and make sure that, you know, you're getting what you're supposed to be getting and it's legit. So, um, those there, I will put links to in the description below. This way here, you can click on them and go check out these web pages yourself. They are, the first three are really, really good. Um, legacy food storage is more of you know, something along this line instead of just buying like singles, like Burpee, True Leaf, and Annie's Heirloom. You know, you can just buy one pack of this and one pack of that, one pack of this, one pack of that. You don't have to buy it like this. The butter, I will put a link in the description for the butter. And you all can go in there and make your own decision if that's something that you really want to fork some money out for. Because it's very expensive, but it will last for 15 years. In an emergency situation or an SHTF situation, grid down, whatever you want to call it, if something happens, you have butter that's still good for 15 years. And it's sealed in a can, so if you had to, you could throw one in your backpack. If you're going to go out, anything like that, hiking, you're going to be walking the long trail, whatever, and you got some butter there you could take with you and... You could cook with. So this is just a quick little video on what's going on with the prices of all different types of products. And what you see right here, we talked about the butter, batteries, and seeds. And they're just going through the roof. And I think they're only going to go higher. So if you're looking to stock up and get your own seeds and maybe some cans of butter and stuff, you may want to do it sooner than later because the later part Maybe even there isn't none, or it's going to be out of your price range. Survival preparedness for beginners. And until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side.